It's me Ira Jain here on IJ World and you're welcome back to another video. Today I'll be setting up my bullet journal for October 2021. Before that let me show you my September bullet journal. So the theme that I had chosen was basically black and white and something really simple. Here on the right of the cover page I have a place to record memories and highlights which I'll be filling up at the end of the month. Next, I have a few to-do lists for the first week of September. Moving on, I have a task dump when I had a really busy week, so I just dumped all the tasks and uh, marked the dates that I had to complete them and then check them off accordingly. On the right, I have to-do lists for that week again. Then again I have space to plan out to-do lists and each day and then I have a review for one of the weeks of September. Again I have a few to-do lists and weekly reviews. I think in September most of my bullet journal was just about to-do lists and reviewing the week. And I'm actually happy about the habit of reviewing my week because it just makes me feel much more excited for the new week. And this was for the last four days of September. At the end, I've left a page for the monthly review of September and on the right, I just planned the October spread. So now let's get into my October bullet journal. So I have my trusty stencils to help me out with setting up this bullet journal. Now, as you might have guessed from the thumbnail of this video, the theme that I'm choosing for October is moons and stars and kind of a night sky thing. So here, I'm basically drawing three simple circles and just writing October there, oct, O-C-T actually. And uh, then I'm just going to have these uh, kind of hanging things which have a moon, a star and then another kind of star. So again, I have kept the uh, setup for October really simple because recently I realized that uh, if things are too complicated in my bullet journal, I tend to just not do it or leave it for later and basically procrastinate on using it. And the problem is when I get really busy and I'm not using my bullet journal, sometimes I end up missing tasks. So to avoid all of that, I thought of keeping it simple and yet pretty and that's definitely possible. In fact, uh, the bullet journal system is set up in such a way that you can make it work for you. So when I want something really all out and uh, very, you know, detailed, then I can do that. And when I want something really simple and minimalistic, I can do that. On the left for my quote page, I drew a crescent moon and then uh, in the space inside, I wouldn't say inside, but next to the moon, I've written a quote. The sky is not the limit, there are footprints on the moon. Uh, I don't know, but I couldn't find too many good quotes related to this theme. And when I saw this quote, I was like, yes, this is the one that I need to use. Now, I have turned over to my next two pages, which are, as usual, the plan for October and then a review for October. For this, again, making it really simple, I drew a circle at the middle of the page. And then I'm just writing plan and review using a blue pen. So for the colors that I chose for this month, I just chose two colors that is blue and golden. And then I'm also using silver for the moon here and there. So that's there. So blue, silver and golden, that's it. I've turned over to my accomplishment spread. And I brought this page back. I hadn't done it last month. I think it's really fun to just do this. So yeah, I think it's a motivating page, especially even looking back a few months later, it's fun. On the right, I have a page to track my exercise. So what I'm going to do over here basically is I'm going to uh, draw 31 different circles because there are 31 days in October and if I exercise on a given day, then I fill in one circle. So I'm going to probably add the dates later. I didn't do it as of now, but let's see. Uh, also, when I was drawing these lines, I think there's one extra line on one of the circles. So it looks a bit confusing, but if I would not have put the line, I just wanted to give it a look of this spiral kind of thing. 
So the reason I've included an exercise tracker is that I really felt I wasn't exercising enough and working out. So having a tracker probably should help me be consistent with that. On the bottom, I just wrote a quote, there's stardust running in your veins and galaxies swirling through your soul, which I don't know, it's a really fun and uh, interesting quote and kind of motivating as well. Then I have a place to plan out goals for quarter four because this is the last quarter of 2021, October, November and December. And so I thought, why not just have this as a part of my October setup? So again, here, similar to the quote page setup, I've decided to draw a crescent moon, but this time it's on the left side. Uh, and then inside that kind of circle kind of thing of the moon, I'm just going to write quarter four. And on the right side, I have drawn five circles for the five different goals. So basically I'll write the goals on the right of them. I decided to limit goals to just five because Anything more than five goals is too much to focus in just three months. And so I thought to make it uh, simple and mo keep it motivating enough, I just have five goals. And for the last spread that I'm doing here, I'm doing three daily logs. I wouldn't really call it a weekly log because basically there's just three days over here. Uh, the first three days are Friday, Saturday and Sunday in October. So I thought of just having them here so then I could start from Monday onwards. And here I just chose a simple layout where I have a place for a running to-do list on the right side. Now for a final flip through, here is my cover page and quote page. Then I have a plan and review spread to plan and review my month. Then I have a place to note down my accomplishments and wins and also on the right an exercise tracker. I also have quarter four goals with space to mention five top goals. And then lastly, I have the daily logs for the first three days of October. And that's it for my Moons and Stars themed October bullet journal. I hope you enjoyed this video and were inspired to start a bullet journal or make a few spreads in your own. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.